today i am talking about some questions related to heat uh, previous class in previous class i told you about uh, the first question what was it the temperature of an island remains more or less constant throughout the year now second and third two questions we we, we are going to talk about today number 2 is which one would have greater amount of heat energy among 1 kg water of 100 degrees celsius and 1 kg iron of 100 degrees celsius give region we have two substances one is water here it is taken water and another is what iron both of them have equal mass and both of them have equal temperature same mass look at this and same temperature and question is which one contains greater amount of heat energy in uh, in first sight what it seems to be both of them may have equal amount of heat energy but this idea is wrong uh, they have not equal amount of heat energy because heat energy contained in a body depends upon three factors number one mass of the body and number two temperature of the body and number three is specific heat capacity of the body specific heat capacity if you remember according to the heat equation quantity of heat contained in a body depends upon q equal to m s t mass of the body and specific heat capacity of that body and temperature of that body and looking at this question mass of both of them are equal mass is same and temperature is also same but specific heat capacity of water is very high than that of iron specific heat capacity of iron is around 470 480 joule per kg degree celsius but specific heat capacity of water is very high 4200 joule per joule per kg degree celsius that's why water of one kilogram mass having temperature 100 degrees celsius contains more amount of heat energy than the iron of one kilogram mass having temperature 100 degrees celsius due to its greater specific heat capacity than iron we have to answer like this now let's go to another question specific heat capacity of three different substances is given below Substances are written A, B, and C. This question seems to be long and seems to be a little difficult. Not so difficult. We can answer very easily. Specific heat capacity of three substances A, B, and C. A is specific heat capacity 910 joule per kg degree Celsius. B 380 joule per kg degree Celsius. C 470 joule per kg degree Celsius. Now question is uh, coming here one, two, and three. Number one, which do you mean? Uh, sorry, what do you mean by the specific capacity of A is 910 joule per kg degree Celsius? What is the meaning of this saying? It means 1 kilogram of the substance A requires 910 joule heat energy to increase or decrease its temperature by 1 degree Celsius. This is the meaning. Now, the first question is answered. Now, let's talk about second one. Which one of the above substance will gain more temperature while heating equal mass of all the three substances are supplied with equal amount of heat? If all of them are uh, all of them are heated and all of them have if equal mass, let's say if one kg uh, of A is taken, B is also one kg, C is also taken, one kg or whatever is its mass, mass is if equal and they are heated for same time period or uh, equal amount of heat is supplied, then which one of the above substance will gain more temperature? Look at this, more temperature. Now you have to select that one which has less specific capacity, this one, this its uh, uh, temperature will be more than A and B. Temperature of B will be more than A and C. If you have to write reason also, then you can say that if a substance has less specific capacity, then even after absorbing same amount of heat energy, its temperature rises a lot. After every 380 joule heat energy 
uh, when it absorbs, its temperature rises by one degree Celsius. But it will, this one requires 470 joule heat energy to raise its temperature by one degree Celsius. This one requires 910 joule heat energy to raise its temperature by one degree Celsius. That's why if they absorb equal amount of heat energy, then temperature of B will be greater than A and C because its specific capacity is less. Okay, let's go to third question which will go down more in depth while keeping equal mass at the three substances heated for the same temperature of 100 degrees Celsius and kept on a wax slab. Now this question seems to be a little difficult but not so difficult. Look at this is a if wax slab. Let's say this is a slab of wax and if A, B and C are heated to same temperature 100 degrees Celsius and uh, all of them are three all three are kept on the wax lamp then which one goes down more that one goes down more uh, which has high specific capacity why because the substance having high specific capacity has got more amount of heat energy when uh, it is heated to same temperature. All of them have 100 degrees Celsius temperature, but at 100 degrees Celsius, the A absorbs huge amount of heat energy and it contains a lot of heat energy and it takes long time to cool down. That's why if this is A, B and this is C, then A will go to very greater depth, penetrating this glass lamp. And after this, C will go to a little less depth than that of B. Let's say it reaches to this. And B, its specific capacity is less. That's why it cools down quickly. And it cannot go up to more depth. That's why A goes to greater depth because its specific capacity is high and it takes long time to cool down. This way, we can answer these questions. All these are related to the chapter 8.